Hi, it's Nick, and today I want to talk about SDXL 1.0, the latest model created by Stability AI, the company behind Stable Diffusion. As you probably know, Stable Diffusion is the text-to-image generator that allows you to create really great images. But the downside of this engine is that it allows you to create less realistic images than its primary competitor, Midjourney. Midjourney 5.2 allows you to create extremely realistic images like this one. The goal of this video is to compare Stable Diffusion and Midjourney and see which tool allows us to generate more realistic images of the humans and objects. Stable Diffusion says that SDXL 1.0 is more realistic than other models created before. And they prove this statement with a chart that they created by asking the users what they think about the quality of the images. And 26% of users say that they prefer this model. Also, they all share a few great examples of the images generated using this tool. Let's review them. The first one is great in terms of the lighting. As you can see, it's impressive in, in a way how the lighting is embraced in this image. Second one is interesting because it pairs two objects that almost run synchronously. And this is a great because models have a problem combining two different objects together. The third image is also great. You can see the great combination of light and dark tones by creating an really nice shadows. And again, combining two objects together. And the last one is also impressive because it solves the problem that model have these hands. As you probably know, many, many people complain that the hands generated by AI tools are not really great because they might have extra fingers. And this one, this example is great because it uh, combines two objects and also you, you can see the highly realistic hand. It's hard to say whether these sort of images were cherry-picked or they are generated during the initial tries, but most likely they were selected to demonstrate the power of the engine. Another one interesting thing is that with the new weight version of the uh, model, they also simplified the way we use it. I mean, we typically use specific words, uh, keywords, that allows us to generate a better quality of images. But they say that uh, this model doesn't need it. And another thing, it understands the difference between different types of the objects and the concepts, like the red square, a famous square in Moscow, and the red square, a shape. Another thing that is quite interesting is that this model is available as a source code. What does it mean? It means that you can install it on your local machine and run it independently. And if you don't want to do that for some reason, you can also use it uh, as a clip drop. This is a set of tools created by Stable Diffusion. Or you can use it as a Discord bot, the same way we interact with the Mid Journey, or as a Dream Studio. And uh, this is one of the best way to use Model if you don't want to install something on your local machine on a, or a remote server. And in this video, I will use the Stable Diffusion and Midjourney to compare them side by side and how great they can be in generated highly realistic images. So let's go to the Dream Studio. It's an editor created by Stable Diffusion that allows us to play with this model. And before I try to use the model, I want to make sure that I use the latest model, Excel 1.0. And I will use it uh, to generate images of uh, people and uh, objects. And for the first prompt, I won't use special keywords uh, or any keyword magic. So it will be like human readable, easy to understand prompt, uh, such as uh, ultra realistic uh, photo of a woman standing of the wall. Let's generate four images and see how great these tool in creating highly realistic images. Okay, the tool generated a few results for us. As you can see, the image of the human is quite photo-like. Uh, I don't spot any problems with hands so far. This might, might not be like uh, 
human hand because of the size of the middle finger but otherwise it's quite fine and it has uh, different proportions for the shoes it's quite uh, rare to see the, uh, the shoes almost in the size of a hat and this one is also great uh, again no no problems at least not right here with the human hands it's quite good and this one uh, one of the problem that i spot that uh, the human uh, face might require alternation but if you're familiar with the stable diffusion they also have the mode called face restore that allows you to regenerate the image and uh, fine-tune the face. Uh, let's try the same prompt in a mid-journey. But before that, I want to ensure that I use uh, the latest version of the tool. Uh, it uses the model 5.2. This is, is the latest version. Imagine ultra realistic photo of a woman standing over the wall. Let's see what we've got. Uh, yes, yeah, some of the photos are quite weird, but uh, I would say from the first glance, the realism that Midjourney have is higher than the uh, realism created by stable diffusion. Let's upscale the third one and see what we've got. Um, it's definitely look like a, a woman and the proportions is right. Some of the elements is quite strange, such as uh, uh, one leg uh, has a sandal and another one, I don't know, it doesn't look like a sandal, but still it looks like a corrupted part of the body uh, but and anyway it doesn't look like a photo it's more like a little illustration uh, let's try another thing let's try to use the tools for generating uh, an illustration of the object and of illustration of uh, hamburger of a hamburger a burger Oh uh, yeah, this one looks great, I think. Uh, it shows the texture and uh, elements like uh, slices of uh, green salad and uh, slices of tomatoes are quite great. And, uh, but all others are quite strange because these more look like uh, part of the poster rather than something that we can use in our work. Uh, let's try the same prompt in uh, mid-journey. Imagine ultra-realistic uh, image of a burger. From a third glance, I would say that the images generated by Midjourney looks much better than the images generated by Stable Diffusion, at least in our scope. Let's upscale the second one because from them, from the set, this looks better, I think. And yeah, it looks definitely better than the one generated by Stable Diffusion. This is the one generated by Stable Diffusion again. And this is the one generated by Midjourney. So this sum up, uh, I would say that uh, Midjourney still generated uh, more realistic images and uh, both for objects and for humans. Uh, again, let's compare the human here and uh, the one generated by Stability AI product. So that's all. Thank you.